on show day, you will want to allow yourself plenty of time to rinse, dry, and fluff your animal. Feed it and give it time to rest before putting it into the chute to prepare for the show ring. Fitting your animal on show day puts the final touch on your animal to make its best appearance before the judge. Remember, the American Angus Association does not allow for the use of coloring agents on any animals exhibited at the shows it participates in. Before starting, you should organize your supplies. You will need a chute, along with combs and brushes, adhesives, show foam and oils, paper towels, a soft cloth, show halter, show stick, a water bucket, a blower and clippers. Be sure to allow plenty of time to get your animal ready, but not too much time so your animal gets restless. If you are showing more than one animal, plan accordingly to have enough time so you don't miss your class. It should take about 30 minutes to prepare your animal for its class. First, use a blower to remove any excess dust, straw, hay, or wood shavings that might have accumulated on your animal since you rinsed it earlier in the day. Next, using your hand, apply show foam, zoom bloom, or other hair popper to the animal's entire body, except the legs. Comb in the product and blow it until dry. The product holds the hair in place. Spray clear adhesive on the legs, combing the hair upwards with a scotch comb. Next, spray the adhesive to the tail head and top line, bring the tail hair to the center, and pull the hair on the top line ahead. Because of your earlier preparation, the animal's hair should lay in place, so minimal adhesive should be needed. Use your clippers to cut any long stray hairs or hairs that won't stay in place. Brush or comb out the animal's tail for a natural appearance. Finally, use light oil or show sheen to spray on the animal to give its coat a luster. You don't want your animal to appear oily, so spray lightly and use the product sparingly and keep it away from areas fit with adhesive. Remember, no aerosol cans are allowed in the makeup area for the shows the American Angus Association participates in, so be sure to leave aerosol cans in your tack area. Wipe your animal's face and nose with a soft cloth and exchange its rope halter for a properly fitted black leather show halter. Be sure to have your exhibitor number in your show harness on your back. Give your animal one last drink and be sure you are hydrated too. You are ready to show. It's a good idea to have a bucket of supplies with you, paper towels, brushes, and combs. Grab a show stick. Be sure to have a scotch comb in your back pocket and head to the ring. Good luck! Once you have shown your animal and had your picture taken at the backdrop, you will need to wash out the foams, adhesives, and oils. This can get messy, so be sure to change or cover up your nice show clothes. You can break down your animal with a mineral oil or other products designed to break down the glues in the adhesive. You will probably need a comb or brush to get the breakdown product worked into areas where heavy adhesive was used, like the legs. Then, wash your animal as demonstrated earlier with soap and water. Be sure to get all the soap, oils, and adhesives out of the hair by rinsing thoroughly to keep the animal's hair coat and skin healthy. You may even want to use a conditioner on the animal's hair if you aren't showing it the following day. Be sure to continue brushing and working the hair ahead so your animal is ready for its next show. Your appearance is nearly as important as your animal's when it comes to showmanship. You should wear blue or black jeans and a collared, tucked-in shirt. You will want to wear hard-toe, solid boots or shoes that are comfortable and provide protection for your feet and a belt. Please leave ball caps and hats at the stalls. You want to look neat and professional, though most of the focus will be on your animal. Show halters should be placed on the animal while it is still in the chute. Put the show halter on your animal a couple of times at home prior to the show, so your animal gets used to the chain under its chin. Be sure to have a scotch comb in your hip pocket, with the teeth pointing toward you. Your animal's hair can get roughed up in the show ring, either when the judge handles your animal or when it rubs against another animal. Use the comb on your animal in these instances. When you lead your animal, lead out with your right hand, close to the animal's head, giving you the most control. However, if you hold the halter too close, it will seem uncomfortable and reduce control. When leading your animal, carry your show stick in your left hand with the pointed end down. Never swing the pointed end up in the air, as you could hurt someone. When you enter the show ring, appear calm and professional. Once you enter the show ring, you'll line your animals up side by side and set the animal's feet squarely. 
Leave about four feet between you and the animals on either side of you so you each have your own space to work in. When you pull in too close, neither you nor the showman next to you has enough room to work. When you stop to set your animal, switch the halter and show stick so the halter ends up in your left hand and the show stick is in your right hand. Practice this so it becomes a smooth, natural motion. Do not roll, fold, or wrap the lead strap in your hand. The lead strap should be just long enough to control your animal with some strap hanging down, but not interfering with leading the animal. Position the feet of your animal squarely on all four corners. Setting your animal up and getting it used to the show stick will require practice at home before you get to the show. With practice, your animal will learn to walk into position with its front feet set naturally. If this doesn't happen for you, set your front feet first. You can use your own feet to push the feet back or as a guide when pulling the feet forward with your show stick. Next, use your show stick to set your back feet. To set a foot back, use the hook to push back on the front of the hoof. To move a back leg forward, pull forward just below the dew claw. As you set your animal's feet, apply a small amount of pressure, either ahead or back on the halter, to guide the animal's feet in the desired direction. Don't set the animal's back legs too close together. Set them apart so the animal looks more wide and square from behind. Once your animal is set up, stand at a position where it can be viewed by the judge while you can maintain control. Calmly use the show stick to scratch the underline or brisket to keep the animal calm. You can also use the hook on your show stick to pull the animal's tail down and to loin the animal to get its top line down and straight. Know where the judge is at all times. Keep your eye on the judge, but also know what your animal is doing. Have the animal's feet set square, the hair coat laying in place, and the head up high and alert. When the judge evaluates your animal, calmly step aside as not to obstruct the view. Keep your animal between you and the judge and always keep an eye on the judge. Once the judge has looked the animals over side by side, the judge will want you to walk your animal. Remember to switch your halter into your right hand, keep the animal's head up, and pay attention to the judge as you walk by him or her. When the judge begins placing the class, watch closely for his or her signals when you get pulled out of the lineup. Oftentimes, there will be ring stewards to alert you if you've missed the judge's signal. If the judge or ring steward asks you to change positions while standing side by side, do so as quickly and efficiently as possible. Pull your animal straight ahead and turn clockwise. Pull the animal through the same position, proceed to the designated area, and set your animal up as quickly as possible. Help the exhibitor in front of you if his or her animal stops. Courtesy in the show ring is very important. Next, the judge will ask you to set your animals up for a side profile view. Once you have stopped, set your animal up as calmly and as quickly as possible. Be sure to keep your animal in line. Pulling your animal slightly out of the line will not impress the judge or anyone else. If the judge pulls the animal in front of you out, pull your animal ahead to fill in the gaps. When turning the animal around, always remember to walk clockwise, pushing the animal away from you. This gives you more control and prevents you from being stepped on. If the animal falls asleep or is too relaxed, you can jiggle the halter chain to make the animal alert when the judge is evaluating it. Conversely, if your animal becomes unruly or begins throwing its head, you can tap your show stick across its nose. The judge may ask you certain questions about your animal, the Angus breed and the beef industry, especially in a showmanship competition. No information about your animal's birth date, pedigree, flaws, and good points, and performance information, as well as basic management. You will also want to know general information like gestation length and your regional manager. The Angus Journal and Association website are good resources for breed and industry information. If your animal should happen to get loose in the show ring, don't panic. Stay calm and let the ring steward help catch the animal. Remember, in shows sponsored by the association, an animal is dismissed from class once the animal gets loose its third time. Practice at home. Be prepared, polite, and have a positive attitude when entering the show ring. Practice good showmanship and be aware of the judge and other exhibitors. You have a bright future and the tools to succeed in the show ring.